friends and welcome to the den for the uh, midweek video and story time. So um, uh, you guys may notice from the thumbnail and the title a decidedly British theme. There's a very good reason for that and the reason is I got myself one of these. And that's what we're going to talk about today's story time. So, yes, uh, first I'll show you the soap, Wickham Club Cola. Oh, such a good scent on this. I love this soap. Oh, I really, really love this soap. Very simple scent, but it smells so good. Going with the uh, Spiffo Jackson, once again, 26 millimeter um, High Mountain White Badger. And uh, yeah, we'll just get right in here and load this. So scent notes on this are bergamot, neroli, vanilla, and caramel. That's it. There's four scent notes. And it smells exactly like soda or pop, as we call it here on the Red Island in Canada. That's exactly what it smells like. It has an effervescent quality to it, which I don't know how they got in here. I guess it's just the blending of the scents, maybe just triggers your mind but it does have that effervescent bubbly scent and oh it's just so good so good some people may be turned off by you know shaving with a soap that smells like a tall cold glass of diet pepsi but seeing as i love a tall glass of cold diet pepsi it uh, works for me so yeah get this loaded up and get into story time so yes uh you see the picture you saw the picture that is a vox amplifier and um, as you guys have been listening in because I, I know I drone on about music an awful lot on this channel and gear and stuff um, but uh, you know that's that's my my things right there's two there's two things that I really have going on in my life and that's wet shaving and, uh, and music and Taekwondo um, three things I guess but music is the, is the big one so anyway, uh, you know I've been drawing it on and really wanting to get a Vox AC-15. Uh, and they're super expensive. <laughs> $1,082 with tax, to be exact. And that's all tube. And the classic Vox sound. That was actually the amp that started it all. Uh, you know, most big bands that use Vox nowadays use an AC-30. Um, and some people confuse the two and are like, oh, the AC-30 was the quintessential amp. Now, the AC-15 started it all. They developed the AC-30 um, for a band called uh, The Shadows and then subsequently The Beatles back in the day because the crowds were so loud that um, they were drowning out the sound of the amps with their screaming because um, they didn't use PA back then like they do now. Now everything is mic'd up and put through the PA and uh, back then it was just the ca the, the vocals that went through the PA. Uh, your only amp sound coming from the stage was the amps. So anyway, back to my story. Um, now you have a little history, but anyway, I really wanted a Vox amp uh, that is the tone that I want, that, that chime, that shimmer, the juiciness and sustain that a Vox is characteristic for. So anyway, uh, the other night, uh, Saturday night, my wife was uh, working, and I was at home, and she gets home from work, um, it was the weekend, so she worked until 11 o'clock, and uh, this lather's coming together nicely, holy crap, hold on, I'm going to put one more application of water. So she got home from work, and... I'm just surfing YouTube, she's on Facebook and shit and stuff, and we're chatting, and then she's like, uh, oh, that's interesting, I'm like, well, what's that, she goes, well, there's a Vox amp for sale, and I'm like, oh, yeah, and I'm thinking, you know, it's one of the bigger Vox amps, you know, the expensive ones that I'm never going to be able to afford, and I go, what is it, she goes, oh, that's, she goes, well, I'll check the ad, and she looks, and she goes, it doesn't say, and then she gets looking some more and she goes, well, it's 15 watt. And then uh, she goes, oh, it's called the Pathfinder 15R. From my Razor. Uh, Razor is the Edwin Jagger DE89 barley handle. Very nice, uh, exquisite pattern on that handle. 
with a, a third use uh, Vox gun. Um, so yeah, uh, Vox 15 watt Pathfinder, solid state amp. So for you guys that don't know the difference, solid state is computer chips and printed boards and stuff and tube is tube powered so it's powered by preamp tubes and then power tubes like vacuum tubes the old style vacuum tubes that's the difference between a tube amp and a solid state solid states can sound very nice though so anyway um and the louder's just flopping off me so uh i'm like all right well that sounds kind of interesting how much and she's like 50 bucks i'm like oh shit i'm like well must not be that great of an amp then. It must be, you know, kind of crappy. So anyway, I go to YouTube. And I uh, click uh, into the search bar. Vox Pathfinder 15R. Now the 15R just means it comes with reverb. So there's two versions of the amp. One is with... Uh, one doesn't have reverb. One has reverb. So this is the, uh, the reverb version. So anyway... First video up is uh, tones. The third video down is you need to buy this amp. And I'm like, okay. So I start watching the review videos, and lo and behold, it sounds just like a Vox. It sounds great. And I start reading some of the comments. And all the comments from everybody in the entire comment section is, I own this. It's great. I own this. I own like three of them. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe how good of an amp this is. Blah, blah, blah. I go search reviews on, uh, like, you know, like on, on Google. Same thing on some forum, forum pages and stuff. And people actually gig with them live. They use, even though it's only a 15 watt amp with an 8 inch speaker, they use them live and mic them up. So, I say to my wife, I say, okay, uh, we need to message this person, like, now. And, uh. She goes, it's like 11 o'clock, or 11.30, and I are almost 12. I'm like, I don't care what time it is. Just send the message. If they get the message, they get it. If not, they'll get it in the morning. So I'm not sleeping on this. So she goes, well, you send in the message. I'm like, well, where is it? She's like, it's on Marketplace. I'm like, okay. So I'm searching. I'm like, I don't see the ad. She goes, no, it's under moving sale. So I find the ad. So my wife found this amp on an ad that was for a moving sale with a whole bunch of stuff listed. So I don't even know how she found it. I never would have found that in a million years because I'm never on Marketplace anyway. And I certainly wouldn't have clicked on a moving sale ad to see what they had. So anyway, I messaged the seller and lo and behold, they get right back to me. And you know, I asked, you know, does the amp work? Everything working? Is it, you know, good shape? Blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh yeah, no, it works great. And, uh, in the whole nine yards so I make arrangements to uh to go out and look at it the next day because I'm not waiting on this and uh, they're like yeah we have a guitar here you can try it out too I'm like oh that's even better so uh anyway and then I thought the address sounded familiar too for the house and I'm like I almost guarantee you I delivered propane there back in the day when I was still working and uh so anyway, the next day, I got my young fellow driving my wife to work because his car's in the shop, so we needed to use mine. It was only like a 20-minute drive from where I live and where they live. So uh, he drives her to work. We head out. Buddy meets me at the door. Sure enough, I was right. I did deliver to that house. Delivered propane. We get chatting. Uh, he mentions that he forgot that he has his all his guitar cables were packed up and moved to the other place now whether that's true or not i don't know probably he probably got second guessing the whole you know the whole coming in to try it because of covid and that's fine i get that uh, he did say though you know if for whatever reason it didn't work then he would uh, buy it back and he would come to my place and pick it up so that was fair enough so anyway, uh, give him the $50, grab the amp, and it looks just like a Vox AC series amp. Uh, 
like the identical, like same grill cloth, same look, same everything. So I get home, plug it in and turn the power on, boom, doesn't work. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? So I got my young fella helping me run the EQ. So we have the volume on it cranked and it's just barely making the sound, just barely making the sound. I'm like, oh no. But then I got thinking, um, it has a gain knob and the gain knob on this amp works just like the channel volume on a tube amp and then the volume knob acts like the master volume so i got him to turn the turn the volume all the way off and then turn the gain up a little bit so my settings are if you think of a clock if you think of a clock six o'clock would be off so the gain is set at like nine so it's barely on and the volume is set at like 9 30 and uh, so we set it around there and I strummed a chord and I was like, oh, oh boy, here we go. And uh, yeah, just incredible, incredible sounding amp and it's loud. My other amp was a Fender Mustang One, which is a 20 watt with an eight inch speaker. And that was, that was pretty loud. This one's even louder at low volume. I actually asked my neighbors if they could hear it the other day. Cause I was trying to get everything dialed in and they're like, yeah, we can hear it a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. I'm like, okay, thank God. Cause I got right at a sweet spot now where it still sounds good, but if I turn it down anymore, then it just sounds, it doesn't sound good. It's too quiet and I hear too much of the guitar, like acoustically. And uh, if I turn it up anymore, then it's too loud for a uh, bedroom level. <laughs> so it is a freaking loud amp and it sounds really good. I got the reverb set at about uh where's the reverb set i got that set about one o'clock so lots of reverb uh, i got the treble set at about 12 30 and the bass is set at about one and it just sounds fantastic i had to change my patches so i got one patch on my zoom which is empty there's nothing there's no effects so that's my clean tone so that way that that pedal isn't influencing the sound of the amp so that's just the amp and then I have an overdrive patch which sounds really good and then I made a new distortion patch full-on distortion which actually sounds really good and this amp takes pedals really well so I got everything set pretty good now I got the two the distortion and the overdrive are set for unity so they're the same volume as the clean at the volumes I'm playing in the living room I think my lather dissipated a bit here. I'm not shaving with much lather at all. I kind of messed up that lather a bit, but oh well, residual slickness is there. But, um, so yeah, so it sounded really good for now, and then I'm still going to get my uh, Paisley Overdrive Deluxe, or Paisley Drive Deluxe after Christmas. And that'll be the cat's ass. That'll be Overdrive and Distortion all in one pedal. And, uh, yeah, so very, very happy. Uh, incredibly happy. This is the guitar tone. As far as the clean tone, this is the guitar tone I've been dreaming of. And the overdrive is pretty close. So with the Paisley drive, I'll get there. So, yeah, incredibly happy and incredibly lucky to find that amp for 50 bucks. Oh, that's insane. They weren't that expensive new 145 160 some canadian maybe when they're new they're discontinued so you can't get them now um but even on the used market they're fetching like a hundred and some almost 200 dollars because they're that good of an amp so to find one for 50 bucks that's awesome and i know the guy knows what he's dealing with it wasn't like he just picked it up because he was a beginner guitar beginning guitar player um, he was mentioned some of the other amps he has and that's why he doesn't use this one anymore and he's got some high-end boutique tube amps so he knows his stuff so and he probably definitely knows what it's worth in the secondary market he just wanted to get rid of it and get it out the door while they're moving so uh lucky me that was that's one of those things where you don't even question it you don't even care about spending the 50 bucks because it's the fucking deal of a lifetime and you just you jump on it so yeah incredibly incredibly happy and that was a great shave even though my lather did dissipate at the end 
the uh, residual slickness uh, save my butt and uh, go with the matching bomb and uh, that actually happens to me a lot now is the uh, disappearing lather um, yeah disappearing lather it's a drag uh, but man, I can't really see what I'm doing that well so whatever it happens go with the matching bomb oh yeah I know a lot of people neglect to uh, not get the matching bomb with this set oh my god it's so good and this bomb has legs it lasts a good long time uh, it's expensive though it's like 24 bucks Canadian I guess maybe that's why people don't buy it because it's uh it's pricey but worth every penny in my books so anyway guys that was the shave hopefully you enjoyed the shave hopefully you enjoyed the story so yes there'll be more music coming out i do have uh, if you guys want let me know in the comments below um you know uh, i always try and do things that, that you guys want to see or hear so if you're enjoying the tunes i have another one ready to go uh it's acoustic actually yeah it's acoustic um and uh yeah, it's pretty good I like it. Uh, kind of messed up a couple parts, but well, whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. So yeah, if you want to hear that, let me know. And then uh, I got a few more to work on. And then going forward, everything recorded will be with the uh, the new amp. So I actually wrote a <laughs> I wrote a clean song yesterday, just because I enjoy the clean tone so much now that I wrote a song that's just all clean and chords and picking and stuff. So anyway, uh, if you guys want to hear some more tunes, let me know. I'll throw one up on uh, Saturday. So until then, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another. Most importantly, have a great day and even better shave. We're going to catch you in the next one. Peace. I love yous.